Hey, good morning, everybody. So, um, I kind of wanted to tell a quick story this morning from a couple nights ago. Uh, I, was, I went and took um, Jade and her buddies to uh, Urban Air, and then we left, and I need to stop by the gas station real quick. I walk into QT, and uh, the girl behind the counter, the cashier, um, real nice black lady, she, uh, she just asked me like, what do you, you know, what do you do to work out and whatever, you know, she see, I obviously work out a lot. So she made a comment. She said, you know, I used to train a lot and, um, and I haven't really been training as much lately and I really want to get back to it. And do you have any advice on how to stay consistent, how to get back to it? And one of the things that I wanted to share with her was that I found for me and for other students I've had over the years that one of the biggest things you can do to stay focused and to keep driving forward is to create a vision for yourself that is bigger than what even some people may even think is achievable. And you, you have this vision, you create and hold it up here and then the next most important piece is to believe it's possible. And, uh, and I said that, you know, I told her we were talking about it and, and I said, you know, one of the things that I see a lot of people do that keeps them from going forward, <clears throat> that stops their progress and sometimes stop them, stops them completely is when they just lose the faith that the vision is possible. And she looked at me and she was like, man, that, that hits me so hard right now. Like I did, I, I lost faith. I, I quit believing that my vision for what I could do is possible. And she had mentioned there was like a, <clears throat> you know, like a top end uh, fitness professional girl that she kind of looked up to as a, um, like her ideal, you know? And she just quit believing it was possible. And I'm like, listen, you gotta get that back. You have to get back to believing you can do it. And man, that just really seemed to hit her hard. And so, <clears throat> you know, she thanked me for just chit chatting with her and, and whatnot. And then, uh, and then I ran into her again, uh, about a day or no, I guess two days ago now. And she was like, you know, um, I got back in the gym. And so I was like, man, that's so awesome. So that's the thing. The message for today, if I have a message for you this morning is create that vision for yourself don't don't make it so i mean i know when people talk about how to get motivated you'll hear a lot of coaches they'll say well just do incremental things and that's true like you have to have steps to get somewhere but the true fire comes from within and that fire is on having a vision for yourself that's up here the, you're something you're trying to achieve and you know, I mean, I'm one of those that <clears throat> for me, that vision doesn't even have to be possible <laughs> because that's just my makeup. I've always had this ideal I've created for myself since I was a little kid as to what the ideal warrior and leader would be like. And then I would shoot for that. That's essentially what's been my driving force for what, 30, I don't know, 37, 38 years now. Um, so, <clears throat> so for me, that works. Uh, for some other people, you have to find your method. But in general, create that big vision for yourself. Believe it's possible. Don't let anybody tear down your belief in that. And the people you hear it all the time, that's not possible. It's not achievable. I've been hearing that nonsense from people all my life. You know, a quick little addendum to that. So when I was uh, 